Synergy sent me out a new scooter and it's thanks to you for watching. So if you're interested in seeing the full review of this scooter, which will be coming up really soon, then what you want to do is make sure you're subscribed. So this is the Synergy Cyclone. Let's get it open and let's take a look inside and see what we've got. Oh, there's been a lot of thought put into this. That's nice. There's a little hole in the uh, styrofoam for one of those multi-tools. I love these things. I'm gonna put that aside for now. Also, there's a box. Feels like it's probably a charging brick. Let's double check. It is indeed a charging brick. And it says it is a two amp charger. So it's not gonna be rocketing fast, but you know what? Trickle charging is the way to go if you wanna keep your battery nice and healthy. Plus also, a user manual. Let's lift this thing out and see what it looks like. All right, kickstand down. Wow. This looks like quite a beefy scooter. So it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, put the, uh, the handlebars on next, unwrap it, but just off the top, it looks very similar to uh, like a Ghost or a Splack. Oh, look at this, it's even got, that's interesting. It's got indicators at the back. Huh, I've only seen that on a couple of scooters, like, uh, yeah, well, like the Vig, for example. So that's something interesting. And mechanical brakes front and rear. Are they mechanical? I'll check that in a second here. Anyway, let's get this thing put together. Very simple, four bolts need to be removed from here and then I can mount this lovely handle grip bar right on top here. So let me just get that sorted out first. Well, I haven't put it on backwards yet. So, the, but the, the, the setup is young. You know, the day is young. Thanks. Okay, I can take all this off now. On this side. Well, that's a good sign that I've got the trigger assembly on the right side. So that means I put it probably in the right way around. So it looks like I've got a bunch of uh, items here to just adjust and tighten down. I'm gonna do that, but as per usual, let's do, uh, well, let me just tighten this up just so it doesn't rotate around a lot. Perfect, and maybe this one here too. So that's just temporarily in place and I'll lock it down properly off camera. But let's take a look at what we've got here. So we've got keys uh, right here, which is nice. So that's obviously gonna go into here. Let's power it up and see what happens when I power it up. Probably need the keys for that as my camera woman just really kindly pointed out. So it's got 50 volts already in there. Oh, we got a light just turned on. And it's got sort of an I, looks like an I3 design for the, uh, for the trigger and display. Looks like it's got three gears, uh, voltmeter, plus the uh, actual key that our camera woman kindly pointed out. Over here, we've got eco, turbo, single, and dual. So that's nice and simple. Let's see what happens. When I press those buttons, they don't light up, but that's still good. Oh, we've got a light here. That's nice. And indicators. And they, oh wow, that works really well. These come loose, but there is a nut already on the wire. So I just have to spend a few moments and tighten the nut on. Smart, because when you ship these, you don't want these getting broken. So, but these are nice and bright. Nice. Powerful looking LED there. Big honking clamp up here. Two bolt clamp at the front here. Oh, and it's got one of those springs again. This is the second one with the spring on it. 
that's really handy because now what will happen when I pull this down is that will, anyway, long story short, this is handy because it just forces this coupling to go all the way down when you uh, set it up. Oh, and it's got more, so it's got LED lights and strips down the sides mm -hmm. and on the deck and, uh, oh, and there they are. Turn them on. So in some respects, it's similar. It's also got um, the charging, dual charging ports. And again, it's on the top of the deck. So in some ways it's quite similar to the SPLAC, which I, the SPLAC Titan that I reviewed recently. Um, and in other ways it's quite different. But um, I'm gonna be able to cover all that in a full review coming up really, really soon.